what is going on welcome back to the channel today i hope i have some better news with the truck so after working on it last time uh, you saw i was having some issues it's still doing the little vacuum leak whistling thing and i got to thinking how can i fix this um you know i was gonna take the gaskets back off clean the gasket surfaces uh put new paper gaskets on it and go forward from there uh but then it hit me that new carburetor is a dual bolt pattern base so it has a 4150 and a spread bore uh setup i don't know why i didn't think about that before but uh, i don't need that spacer anymore so now i can bolt the carb right to the intake as long as there's no problems with the linkage hitting anything or something like that um, there should be no issue putting it to the square bore setup uh, which honestly I like a lot better anyway because I, I don't really like that adapter but um, yeah I don't know why I didn't think about it but uh, I guess because it was already set up that way and I it bolted on as is um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the carb off I'm going to leave it all together with all the uh, the fuel line and the linkage and everything and then I'm going to uh, pull that spacer off uh, put the carb studs back in the intake and then uh, from there put the carb back onto the intake with uh, just that thick gasket so hopefully all goes well and that alleviates the uh, issues I was having I guess we'll find out in a little bit but um, let's get to it all right for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about here so if you see I got my stud uh, it goes down through the carburetor through that thick gasket into this uh, spacer. Now the spacer is an, also an adapter. If you see here I have an, another hole, I got another one on each corner and uh, what that does is allow you to bolt it in either bolt pattern on the intake. So currently there's a bolt inside of here that holds the spacer to the intake and then the carburetor is bolted to the spacer. So what I'm hoping is that uh, we'll just take this nut off We'll pull the stud out and then uh, pull the bolts out of this and bolt the studs down into the intake here and then the carburetor right to the intake, eliminating this, hopefully eliminating my vacuum leak. And uh, I don't think there's going to be any issues. Um, I don't see any issue like if this moves down, uh, down to here, I don't see it really hitting anything or being obstructed by anything so hopefully that's the uh, the cure for all this but I guess we'll find out soon enough all right so the first thing I'm doing is taking the nuts off the carb here and the throttle bracket off As you saw in the last video, I made a note that I forgot to pull this paper gasket off. It's unfortunate, it's stuck to this thing now. So I'm gonna try to get this off here as best as I can because this is obviously gonna cause an issue if I don't. But I can pull this guy off. It looks like three of them are screws and one of them's an Allen bolt. All right, so I got the gasket cleaned up for the most part. There's still some on here. Uh, but I scraped it pretty good and tried not to damage the uh, original finish on there. Uh, I'm going to pull the carb studs out now and then uh, hopefully just pop that uh, spacer off and then get the new studs back in this intake and bolt it back together. I was able to pop that right off, uh, no issues. There was a nut in there for some reason, um, just laying in one of the holes. Not really sure what that was, but um, previous owner had used these like uh, screws that uh, weren't very tight. So I'm assuming they were an issue. Now this gasket that it has on here, I might be able to actually just reuse this um, because it's like a rubber, gasket it's uh 
You can see there's some like water beating on it or fuel on it. Well, it's fuel. Um, so it, it doesn't look bad. It's not all cut up or anything. So I might just slap this on the bottom side. I, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna see how this seals up first without it. And then if need be, I'll take it back apart and throw that on there. So one thing I just noticed after taking that uh, adapter off is that it was tightened down in a way that uh, it was like bottoming into the intake. You can see there's every corner has got uh, some issues here and there's some, some metal shavings there. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up. Hopefully that doesn't cause an issue. I'm gonna run my gasket scraper over this and make sure that uh, it's cleaned off as much as possible um, because that could also be causing an issue. Uh, it's got a little, basically it looks like when they over tighten this, it pushed the aluminum up around the edge of that hole. So it's actually, there's a, you can't really see it from here, but there's a, there's a lip all the way around this hole. So I'm hoping I can knock that down on all four sides and flatten this out a little bit more. Put the studs in the intake now. These might be too long now. Uh, they'll work. It's just not favorable with having that much stud sticking out of there. gasket doesn't fit because it's a spread bore setup and this is a now a square bore so I guess I will try to reuse this mr. gasket gasket All right, so this linkage bracket doesn't want to fit. I don't know if you can see it from this angle, but this uh, area right in here is a little too large to fit where the carburetor is at currently, which I'm not sure how it fit well before, maybe because of the angle I had it on. Well, I'm not sure that that is enough that I took off there. Uh, we're going to be trying to use this uh, inside hole. So hopefully that was enough to come off. If not, I'm going to have to, you know, come in a little tighter and come closer to this, uh, this hole as well. I'd like to not have that open, but uh, it may be the only option is to cut this straight and then just using the, the pressure of the washer down in the, the bracket which at that point, I would probably want to replace this and get a proper bracket, but we'll see how it goes. All right, moment of truth. We'll see if this uh, fits on here or not. Awesome, so that was enough. So now we'll be able to bolt that on, have our throttle bracket all hooked back up, and we can continue on here.
All right, so the carb is all hooked up. I uh, had some issues with getting that nut on the, uh, the back corner stud. I can't get a socket on it and I can't really get a wrench in there. Um, I don't really have anything else that can go in there. So hopefully it's tight enough and the other ones are tight enough and this doesn't leak. So we're gonna try it right now. Um, I haven't tried to fire it up since I put the carb on. So uh, there should be enough fuel in the carb to get it started. And I checked the linkage, so I heard some gas go down in there. So hopefully that's enough to get her uh, going. Good start. Starting, but it's not staying running. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'm having to give it a little gas right now. If I let off the gas. It wants to die. Maybe the idle's too low for what's. Maybe because of the uh, vacuum leak before, it was giving it enough air. I don't hear any hissing right now from the uh, where it was vacuum leaking before. So that's a good sign. So we turn the uh, idle screw in a little bit, give it a little more gas. Gave it no gas, it started up. It's now idling. Got a little belt chirp. I power washed the engine bay today, along with the truck itself, but uh, it's idling awesome right now. No uh, hissing. Uh, definitely was a vacuum leak there. Uh, Got to get this PCB hose hooked back up. Uh, but I think that's the winner right there. Uh, it sounds like I got an exhaust leak now. Probably had it before, I just wasn't paying attention to it. Uh, that's awesome. I wonder how it's going to do once it's warm, but I'm hoping it stays right where it's at. So for now, I'm going to call that a win. Uh, it's running. I'm super ecstatic. This thing right here. This, this is a great idea to put this thing on here. Uh, I was looking for a Holly. Uh, ended up finding this one. And right now, no regrets. So, until next time, who knows what we're going to be doing again on this thing, but uh, I'm trying to work on this thing more, get it more roadworthy so I can spend more time with it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.